What we're going to look at is what to do and how to deal with sickness or ill health while you're completing your training program with FTP training. Okay, one of the biggest things um, that most people get wrong in this component is that they tend to want to just forge on through. Oh, I've just got a little sniffle, you know, my throat's a little bit sore, I'm just going to push on through. What this often leads to is periods where you get actually quite sick, it can move down onto your chest, become bronchitis, suddenly you're two or three weeks of missed miss training program and a huge amount of the gains that you could have benefited from are no longer there. So firstly we need to manage the signs of overdoing it and getting a little bit sick and then think about what we do to manage that. So signs of getting sick and, and you know we all know them. We start to get that little scratchy throat, we tend to feel a little bit hot and flustered, nose gets a little blocked, people around us are all sick. Those are signs to me that things aren't 100%. And it would have linked into the fact you've just started on a new plan and you're trying to push, push your body and, and strive to become stronger and better. So what you must do in this, this component in this period of time is use discretion as the better part of valor. Okay, you need to be mindful of the fact that you're not quite right. If you're not quite sleeping right, you're getting a bit irritable. Um, all these things are signs. So what we need to do is we need to move a recovery day forward or a couple of days off the bike. This can easily be done within today's plan and in the accompanying Snagit that I've produced for this um, week's newsletter, it will show you how to do that on the program. Often by nipping it in the bud early and you know reducing your load, reducing your external stresses, you can get on top of a small bug or a small, um, you know, a small cold and come out of it without any major problems, having only missed a couple of days. Now, what to do is that you don't try and then make up for the days that you've missed in training. The best thing to do is to just continue with the program as it was uh, from that day onwards, not try and slip in an extra couple of days to make up for it. Again, often all that does is puts an added bit of load on when you've just got yourself back to feeling okay and it throws you back down and plummets you back down again. Okay, so that's what we do if we feel that we're going to get sick. Okay, if you're really sick, you have to just pull a recovery week forward. Don't try riding through it. Often I use signs that maybe if it's from the neck upwards, then it may be okay to just complete recovery rides or endurance only rides of up to maybe an hour to an hour and a half. This can make sure that the legs are still being used and you're still keeping some muscle mass active, but you're not pushing your body into uh, an activity zone that suppresses your immune system, okay? If you're really, really sick, obviously you need to go and see your doctor and you may need to take a week off. If that's the case, just mark that week off and then start up with the program as and where it starts off again. Some things that we can do to make sure we don't get sick during the program are things that I use with all of my elite uh, world tour athletes and elite athletes at Avanti and Talk. There are some simple methods. Firstly, while you're in public places, always carry around a, a small tub of hand sanitizer. It can fit in your pocket, and when you're touching things, often that's the way in which we pass those germs into our bodies, through our mouth or through our eyes and nose. So by using hand sanitizer quite regularly, we can stop that um, process and, and, and it can make sure that you keep well. Another thing you can do in public places or when you feel that you're in an area that you've got a lot of people snivelling, coughing, etc. in a public place, is to use a throat lozenge. Again, it creates an antibacterial um, area within the mouth which stops, helps prevent those bacteria getting in. Use that with some tea tree oil around the nose and you're really helping out um, and helping your body fight off any untoward germs or bugs during the training program. Another thing is timing of exercise and then food. Make sure that you're replenishing your carbohydrate stores straight away after you've trained. This helps boost your immune system and helps keep you strong. Also the timing of your higher activity exercises. We have a window of opportunity for bugs to get in where our immune system is suppressed for maybe up to two hours post high intensity exercise. So if you're splitting your session between riding to work and riding home, you may be better off just doing the easy um, endurance or recovery on the way to work and then doing your higher intensity on your way home where you're more able to control the situation in terms of your environment when you get home. At least for an hour you may be able to keep the kids off, um, you know, 
just to make sure that you stay Optimus Prime and in the best condition to continue your program.